Today we're driving a 2019 Tesla Model X. Substitute Topher is joining me today. Yes, driving every TikToker's dream car. Yeah, this is exciting. David Dobrik would approve. Uh, this is the standard range, cost about $88,000 brand new. Uh, right now it's probably worth, I don't know, 100 grand easily. Like Used that. market is just yeah. insane on these things. But we've got our funky doors, we've got air suspension. I just accidentally <laughs> opened one. Um, so I guess we'll just go ahead and get in, okay. since the Tesla's like, come in. Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait, don't expend any energy oh, on sorry. this. Yes. Let you. me open that door for Appreciate you that. there, sir. It didn't open far enough. There we it is. stuff about Teslas. We, yeah. We, we do. These are going to be some incredibly first impressions. Initial, incredibly really initial. aggressive. I know. I, I, it, that would take a hand off. Yeah. These are going to be some very initial first impressions. We only have about 25% battery left on this, so we won't be getting the full power um, out of this Tesla Model X, but otherwise we can kind of walk you around and show you some of those features. This is for sale at Gene Butman Ford in Ypsilanti, Michigan. Um, and if you want to buy it, you can. Yeah. But for now, we're just going to do a review and walk you around this because I've never even been near a Tesla Model X. We have a slightly different vertical touchscreen in this compared to a lot of the Model Ys and Model 3s that we've driven and tested. And we have some physical control, some buttons. What a novel concept. There are <laughs> window switches, there are seat controls, and look at this. I can actually move my steering wheel with an old Mercedes style button in the back. Same with cruise control, same with windshield wipers and park, drive, neutral. I, is old already. There's even one for the glove box. Just because it has buttons, it feels old. Yeah. <laughs> Out of date. <laughs> um, we have this thing that's magnetic. You can put stuff in there. There are cup holders that slide back and are revealed. Let's let's go. We gotta look at the we gotta look at the rear doors. Yeah, we definitely. This is the coolest part. So I'm gonna open my door with that screen button. I'll Thank open you. your door as well because I'm a gentleman. Yep. So here's what the key fob looks like. You actually get a physical key fob and there are buttons around the key that you don't really see but are there that uh, will open the things that you press on so it's a double press to open and then a triple press to close which is quite nifty and this is the shot that everyone likes where it looks like it's gonna fly away I should probably get a picture of this from my Instagram shot. TikTok or TikTok yeah. yeah no this is cool I mean Super convenient, super easy to get in and out of. There we go. It's interesting to watch these close because they don't just close, they like fold in and like... Yeah, they, it... they double fold. There's an yeah. extra hinge in there. Right. And it's neat because you can open these doors and get in the car with very little space next to you. So if I stood here, it's going to kind of figure out how... Oops, it did, it did hit me. Just kidding. So if I stood here, it'll just hit me. All right, that's that's fine. It took, it paused for a second. It was like, it was like, watch out. I'm coming for you. I'm going to hit you anyways. So you can close the doors with a button right here. It's like we're spending way too much time in this review on these doors, but it's, it's exciting. It's fun. This does have a the option for a third, third row, but I don't know if this has a third row. This does not. Does not have a third row. Okay. This is a five passenger. So you've got a ton of legroom, a lot of space under the front passenger feet seat to put your feet. A couple USB ports back here. No uh, center armrest, but you do get a nice third seat. And some wood trim in the front. Okay, okay. I mean, this is still kind of previous gen Tesla. They've updated the Model X and the Model Y since this. You have some seat back adjustability here. It does, yeah. And then it folds pretty flat for some nice cargo space. Let's close this door again just because it's fun. And then we'll open the trunk. I like this spoiler in the back. That's pretty cool. I mean, you know, your spacious, larger SUV. It's amazing, though. You know, you can see where Tesla has improved a little bit in quality control with some of their newer cars like the Model 3 and the Model Y in some respects. I mean, these they all kind of feel about the same, to be honest, yeah. whether you're paying 100 grand or 50 grand. But yeah, all right, let's hop up front and we'll kind of explore a little bit. 
dual motor. Yes. They're all all-wheel drive as standard. I mean, I can see what all the hoopla is with the doors because that's just cool. And if you want to, you can just close them on their own too. They have a little bit of a mind of their own. They're kind of <laughs> just run away from it. Did there is a little bit of personality to the doors. That's a nice way of saying that they're kind of bewitched, but. <laughs> okay, so we've got a whole new menu. Um, I mean, okay, first impressions on this car. It seems like there's a lot of stuff that could break controlled through something that would break. Yeah. <laughs> That's just the initial vibe that I'm getting from yeah. this Model X. You may agree, you may disagree, who knows. Uh, but here's all of your controls for your doors. And your, we've done that front trunk, the tr rear trunk. We'll actually show you the front here in a second. Um, but you have the options, same options that you do in a lot of other Teslas for chill or standard acceleration, different steering and regenerative braking settings. You can have this uh, come to a complete stop, hold at a stoplight or creep or roll, just like a normal car would. Um, and then we have some interesting suspension controls here where we can change our ride height. So and we can raise it up very high. We get, I think, what is this? 8.9 inches, inches of ground clearance, or we can slam it to the ground and get 6.1 inches of ground clearance. So that's pretty cool. You can default ride height to low so that when you pull up, it'll slam into the, the access comfort mode, which is nice. Um, different damping settings for the suspension. And you can see there's actually sensors in the suspension that will sense if you're rocking in your Tesla Model X. Look at that. It's like a heartbeat. It is like a heartbeat. Yeah. I mean, just, you know, typical Tesla things, lots of settings. The screen is nice. I like the vertical orientation to it. It's nice because you can organize. You've got your track selections down here. You can see where, where your, your climate control, that's off. But if you wanted to select that, you could. Uh, you've got, you know, yeah. what is this? That it's is like uh, a biohazard. It's biohazard mode in case if there are really smelly landfills or nuclear waste near you. Heated steering wheel. We'll turn this off because we only have 25% battery. Yeah. But um, it's nice that it's a quick access for climate. Like, it is. It stays that down here. You don't have to go searching. Yes. Yeah. And you can still see some stuff up here if you want to. Dog mode. Dog mode. Camp mode. And Heat. retain. It will keep your fan going, which is cool. And of course, lots of controls through the app where you can preset your climate mm -hmm. control. Um, Touchscreen still works really well, though. I mean, for 2019, this is. Tesla has led this whole touch screen interface since they came out with a Model S. I mean, it, no one's even come close ever since. So, yeah, still really good in this Model X. A few different map modes here. We can see our traffic. We can see charge stations. Let's pop the frunk and see what that looks like, and then, and then we'll... Oh, thank you. Sorry, yeah, you were going to get that for me. <laughs> I'll take this for a drive. 20-inch wheels. Yeah, which without aero covers, it's just an aluminum wheel. Yeah, that's right. This is where you cut if the firemen need to disable the whole battery systems, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I would assume that with the fire helmet emblem on yeah, it's a little bit grim to see that sticking out, but that's okay. Pretty spacious frunk. Definitely one of the bigger frunks in the electric car space. Could you go golfing with this? Is it big enough? Yeah, I think so. You, you could probably maybe fit a golf club in here. Except it looks for your, like the um, C8 rear trunk size right here. It does look like, about like that. Yeah. shape and size. You got to really, like, really just shut it like you mean it. Shut it like you mean it. I don't know if it's even slammable. You might just have to just kind of put your body weight into it. You lowered us all the way down. Oh yeah, that's right. It's in slammed mode too. Yeah. Oh. Car's also off. Oof. Yeah, it's aggressive. <laughs> okay. So we're turning on, we're putting us in reverse. We have some reverse cameras here. This windshield is really something. Um, oh, look, there's also visors. They're magnetically attached here, and then they magnetically clip in there. Good timing on that. <laughs> and then you can have, you have them, a mirror as well. Yeah, there's a mirror. You can have them do various levels of blocking light. I wonder how this would be. I mean, I guess we can't really see a direct view of the sun, but it seems like this is tinted enough that it's going to give you quite a bit of blockage. 
I wonder how much you'd actually really need to use those visors. Okay, take this for a drive. Chris, what do you think about this Tesla Model X? Um, just it feels massive to drive. It's um, heavy. It's, it feels so heavy. Fifty-five hundred pounds. Is it really? Yeah. It's like Durango Hellcat territory. It is. No, I mean Tesla's usually pretty good about keeping the weight down on their vehicles, and it's Model X. They were just like, we're sending it. Yeah. Yeah. Air suspension. Let's see how it does. Oh. It's, it's very comfortable. It's very soft. It's quite cushy. You can play around with the different settings. We can do comfort, sport, advanced. Turn signals. <laughs> Who needs those? Who needs those? Tiny mirrors. Side mirrors and rear view mirror. There's just this little tiny guy right there. You can see the yeah. spoiler in the middle. Not the most amazing visibility. No, but you do have an uh, abundance of cameras. That's true. You can just enable that and run yeah. with that all the time. It should have a dash cam too. It'll yeah. Just constantly record for you if you wanted to. It's okay, quick. it is quick. It's no slouch. Suspension. Sport. We're going for it. Okay, three, two, one. I mean, it's pretty quick, even at 25%. It's not, yeah. it's not slow. I mean, it's not as quick as a Model Y performance or a Model 3 uh, long range, long range. Yeah. but it's I mean again our battery is pretty low so we're gonna be uh, slightly limited on power and we're still warming up so we don't have full regen braking yet There's a little bit of a funky driveline vibration yeah. under hard acceleration not sure what that means Also makes like a weird like squeaking noise when it's at full throttle. Yeah, like that's like a squeak toy. Yeah, yeah. That could be just electric motor work. Oh yeah, I'm sure it's. Okay. So sport mode with the suspension. Ooh. Yes. Yeah, it can handle. It can. That's fun. <laughs> a little bit of intervention there from traction and stability control. You can feel it kind of throttling and holding back. Yeah until the wheel straightened out. This is just it's like a cardiograph for bumps. Yeah. Windy. A little, little, little bit of wind noise. Yeah, a little bit. The steering feels nice, though. Yeah. I mean, honestly, it just, it just kind of feels like another Tesla. It's very flat around corners. Yeah, it feels good around there. All electric cars kind of drive about the same, if I'm being honest. <laughs> they just feel like very responsive, fast golf carts. Yeah. Yeah, you were just driving the uh, Toyota electric car that yeah. um, takes inspiration from Elon's kid when they named it. That's right, the BZ4X. Yeah. <laughs> now, I mean, it, you know, th this electric car space, companies are going to be differentiating their cars with styling. Tesla is already winning with they just they were kind of first to market and the best at first and their charge network is pretty unbeatable. Yeah. And other manufacturers have a little bit of catching up to do with that. But we'll see, you know, it's going to be a competitive space and but it's surprising how much all of these electric cars really do drive alike. And I think there's some more but I think there's some more things that manufacturers can do to differentiate that driving experience whether it's systems to you know, distribute power or torque or maybe some fake noise yeah but for the most part this is not like a you know you, you go drive a bunch of electric cars and it's not like going to drive a bunch of combustion engine vehicles right. where there's some really big differences in programming and tuning they all kind of feel yeah. about the same finally getting close to full regen off throttle So one thing I have noticed about Tesla's is it takes a bit for the battery to warm up and for regen to really start kicking in. Yeah. Yeah, turning radius isn't the best, if I'm being honest. Okay. But the steering rack's pretty quick. Yeah. 
This windshield is just insane. <laughs> yeah, it's actually it's, really cool. That might be one of my favorite things about this car, yeah. is you just feel like oh, we're open, but you're not yeah. getting a lot of heat coming in from a completely sunny day. Yeah. I'm not being blinded. It's actually just, I wish more manufacturers would do that. That is really cool. Yeah, they've got it tinted in just the right way to where it still feels natural. Like you don't really notice it, but then when you do notice it, it's, it's really, really quite special. Yeah. Let's go on our bumpy road route here and okay. see what comfort damping does for our suspension. So our standard ride height is 7.3 inches. We'll just leave it in that. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, I mean this yeah. definitely, this is the best riding Tesla except for maybe the Model S. Yeah. It's very comfortable. Yeah, this feels really good. This will be the true test here. This is a big bump. Big yump. Oh yeah. Oh. Nice, nice, Point. nice. Also, minimal interior rattles. There are a couple. It's true. Yeah, this is a little not, bit from the back hatch, but it's Yeah, and good. also my backpack is back there, so I could just be that moved around. But... No, you're right. This is a... Uh... seems like decent quality in here. Yeah. Sport mode's marginally stiffer, but nothing, uh, nothing crazy. Is advanced even stiffer? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that feels pretty stiff. You can feel advanced. If you can lower the ride height on the fly. It's thinking. It's thinking about it. Or just low for better efficiency. Yeah, you can put it, you can set it to low. That's marginally lower. High will max out, I think, at what did it say? 15 miles per hour. Yeah. So that's kind of an off-road mode, so to speak. Stuck mode. Yeah. I like how they just call it very high, high, standard low, and very low. Yeah. It's not like Land Rover where they like name it like off road one, off road two, or entry exit. No, it's all just straightforward. It's very, very Tesla. It is. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, keep it simple. Why? Why change that? This, this feels pretty good for an SUV. I mean, it drives quite nicely. Yeah. Definitely hides its weight. This does not feel like a 5,500 pound behemoth. And speed is. Steering's pretty light. Chassis feels pretty neutral and balanced. And there's a lot of power, even at 20%. Yeah. I wish Regen were just a little bit stronger. I think we're pretty much full Regen right now. Okay. And it's leaving a little bit to be desired. Brake pedal feels good though. It does. Okay, so some first impressions on a Tesla Model X. I've never spent any time in one of these, so yeah. really just kind of same seat of the pants <laughs> thoughts right. here. It's cool though. It is, yeah. yeah. I can see why these are so popular in LA. Absolutely, no, this is a great, this would be a great city vehicle because yeah. the doors are cool. It's not, it feels big in here, mm -hmm. but on the outside, it doesn't seem like the no. exterior dimensions are that outrageous. Know normal vents that you can just point at you yeah no the the amount of actual physical elements in this car is kind of refreshing it's actually it really nice yeah now we just have to go drive the model x plaid and see what that's like <laughs> that's right yeah if anyone in southeast michigan has a model s or a model x plaid or a newer generation hit us up. let us know hit, hit us up on instagram at the tofer two yeah, it seems like pretty similar, yeah, pretty similar materials to the other Teslas. Say goodbye to the supercharged uh, Toyota Tundra. Oh yeah, nice. <laughs> sounded good too. That was a Tundra. Sweet. Oh yeah. I mean, I can see why the packaging of a car like this would demand a hundred thousand dollar price tag yeah these and it's, days it's it's just unique enough and it has just enough gimmicks to where i can see why like people my age like it mm -hmm. you know sure um, i mean it's probably worth it just for the doors alone oh yeah the doors are sweet yeah you know, one of them ran into you but we'll, <laughs> that's, that's okay we'll just pretend that didn't happen. we can but, forgive uh, that yeah it's cool it's 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 comfortable in here the interior is a better quality than i expected it to be the screen seems to work fine. The I mean, screen's only a three year old car, but yep. uh, everything everything seems to still be in fine working order. So 
Yeah, I like the ability to have the adjustable suspension. That air suspension is really nice. If you want to do a little off-roading or you just want some extra ground clearance, like that is very, very useful. Yeah. Let's see how we uh, how it acts next to this vehicle here. Oh, that's a good opening idea. the door. Yeah. So we're in a parking space. This is a reasonable distance next to the vehicle next to us. Opening the driver's door. Yeah. Okay. Seems normal. Cool. What about the back door? Yeah. Oh, it did. It adjusted. It adjusted uh, a little bit. Accordingly. That's yeah. pretty cool. Sweet. Yes. I mean, talk about the easiest car ever to load a car seat in and out. Or just yeah. ingress, egress into the back is insanely good. Cool. All right, guys. Well, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. If you want, check out Substitute Topher's channel at Topher Drives, one word. Yes. Hello. On YouTube. And if you have any questions, let us know in the comments. Um, if you're interested in a Tesla Model X, uh, hit up Gene Butman Ford in Ypsilanti, Michigan. They've also got a lot of other used cars. Big thanks to them for letting us take this out and uh, test it today. So anyway, I think that'll be it for this one. Sounds good. Cool. See you guys later.